This lecture is briefly going to cover Arthur kinematics. Uh, pretty much the main thing about this is to show you the step by step process you should apply to every question dealing with Arthur kinematics so you can always get it correctly. So we've talked about osteokinematic motions and that's like our flexion, extension, things like that, things that we can measure with a goniometer. Now, Arthur kinematics are the movements that occur at the joint that allow us to even have those osteokinematic motions you can see. Really, this is the basis for uh, mobilizations and manual techniques. So even though we can't teach you those things specifically, in principle, we are teaching you them by showing you how to figure out the Arthur kinematics. So let's go ahead and get started here. These three rules that you see are the three rules that will help you get the answer correct every time. So let's take a squat. So first thing you need to do, which bone is moving at the knee? So let's focus on the knee. So obviously on a test question, you have to be given these things, activity and the joint that we're looking at. So we're looking at the knee joint, which bone is moving? And I'll give you a second to try to answer for yourself here. Technically, the bone that's moving is the femur. Remember, uh, squat will be a closed chain activity. Now, is the femur convex or concave compared to the tibia? It is convex. Those condyles are convex. The plateau of the tibia is concave. So now, which direction is the roll? And this is what most students miss. For whatever reason, this roll, I think they think of a spin. Well, the thing is, hardly any of these are spins. So if you think it's a spin, the probability is that you're probably wrong. So there needs to be a roll. And if you don't understand which way the bone would roll off the other bone, and you can't visualize that, then just think about which direction the bone's moving. So when you're squatting down, the femur is moving back. It's moving posterior. So the bone is always going to move in the direction of the roll. So it's a posterior roll. So what's the direction of the roll? We have posterior. Now, number three, once the roll is established, apply the rule for the glide. And the rule is based off of what we get right here. So it's convex. So we're going to convex concave, which means the glide is the opposite. So if our roll is posterior, our glide has to be, per the rule, the opposite anterior. And this is one of those things that I can show you a lot better in the lab. So if you're not able to figure out these questions or visualize this, hopefully either through your own research or when I see you on Thursday, uh, we can figure that out. So let's try another one. Patient performs open chain knee extension. What is the roll and the glide? So first, number one, we need to figure out which bone is moving. So which bone is moving with open chain knee extension? It's our tibia. And which is it concave or convex? We should know this from the last one. It is concave. So we already know we're going to apply this rule right here. It's going to be the same. So now we need to figure out the role. So what is the role of this? So if you can't envision the role being anterior, then think about well, which way would the tibia be moving in compared like with the anatomical position if I was kicking my leg into extension? Well, it's going to be an anterior roll, which means we have to have anterior roll, anterior glide, because the rule says it has to be the same. So there'll be multiple questions on uh, the instructor created quiz about these and we'll keep asking over and over again until we're blue in the face and then more so that we can get those correct. There should be uh, simple questions that we can answer and you'll have questions about that throughout your entire time in the program. So that's a quick rundown of Arthur Kinematics. Most important thing you need to know is if you're able to satisfy and go through these questions, you will get it right every single time. So memorize that, practice, practice, practice and you will get it.